I genuinely and sincerely believe that every American boy and girl born under this flag has an unqualified right to all the education that he or she can make good use of and a responsibility to get it. With those words in 1964, Lyndon Baines Johnson squinted into the South Florida sun and declared Florida Atlantic University officially open. Chartered three years earlier with just $100,000, FAU grew to provide all the education to tens of thousands of students over the last half a century. We stand on the shoulders of the past, and this university has had wonderful leadership in the past. Uh, they brought this university to where we're celebrating this 50th anniversary, and it's inspirational for the future to know how much they have done. Using an old Army airfield, a new kind of university was created in the city of Boca Raton. My initiation uh, at FAU was actually, I was born at the Army Air Corps base, which was the original land that uh, FAU campus is built on now. I remember from my years teaching uh, and as a student at Florida Atlantic University that we would, on the average of once a week, a small airplane would land in one of our parking lots and be taxiing around trying to find its way out back to the, to the uh, operational side of the airport. The 1960s saw FAU's first graduating classes, the opening of the University Theater, state approval of intercollegiate athletics, and the creation of the country's first ocean engineering degree program. Well, I had managed to get together two years of college going in between working. Well, we only had three universities then, Florida State, University of Florida, and Florida a and And I wasn't interested in going to any of them. So we started researching and found the Brumball Report about the plans for FAU. And when it opened in the fall, I was enrolled in the first class. I drove up to see this new campus and to drive onto a weed-strewn campus uh, with no trees at all, I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to spend my, the remainder of my college career in this place. But the following month when I actually enrolled, I found the best faculty on the planet there. While some other Southern universities turned away from the principle of racial equality, Two African-American students graduated from FAU in 1965, a harbinger of today's richly diverse student body. The 1970s brought the opening of the Student Union, FAU's expansion to Broward County, the founding of the golf and tennis teams, and creation of the accounting and nursing programs. Well, the campus was small, but it, but it was very pretty. Uh, there were about 7,000 students it was kind of a, an interesting experiment. Uh, I had not seen anything quite like it before. It presented some unusual problems, but nevertheless, we put together a good, a good young faculty, and it was a terrific time. In the 1980s, FAU welcomed its first freshman, opened FAU Arena, expanded doctoral offerings, fielded basketball teams for women and men, and opened the Askew University Tower in downtown Fort Lauderdale. What was nice about FAU at the time, it was in transition from a two-year university to a four-year university. We had a nice eclectic mix of students, those that were older and were commuters, and it was the start of the influx of your younger students living on campus. In the last 28 years, I've seen several graduates who have really uh, made big difference in our nation. One that comes to my mind is uh, Steve Swanson. He graduated uh, uh, with an applied science degree and uh, became an astronaut. The decade also saw growing philanthropic support from Charles E. and Dorothy F. Schmidt and Christine E. Lynn, benefactors who have left an indelible imprint on FAU. My father formed the Schmidt Family Foundation in the 80s, but it didn't really become active until after he died. Over the last 15 years, the foundation has uh, put about $30 million uh, into the community in Boca Raton. The largest single contribution would have been uh, $15 million to the Charles E. Schmidt Medical School at Fort Atlantic University. In the 1990s, 
the student body more than doubled to exceed 20,000, and new campuses opened in Port St. Lucie and Jupiter. Baseball won an NCAA record 34 consecutive games, and a football program was born. The student body now is very different than the student body was when I first came. It was an older student body, a mainly part-time student body, and more of a professionally oriented student body. When I was at FAU, it was right around when football was being discussed. And I remember one day I was walking through the campus with Dr. Katniss and he said to me, you know, nobody really knows this yet, but I think we got Coach Nellenberger to uh, head up our football team. And that was pretty exciting, I think, and th that was a great kickstart, I think, to the football program. Now there's a football team, there really is school spirit, and I think what those young students who were in a minority at the time were missing is there. The university's second largest campus opened in Davie, and the SeaTech Ocean Engineering Research Center opened in Dania Beach. Many of our students come because of the access to the ocean. We are only a mile and a half from that beautiful Atlantic Ocean. And remember, Atlantic is our middle name. I'm the executive director currently at FAU of the Southeast National Marine Renewable Energy Center, which is now designated a national center by the Department of Energy. It is also going to be holding the first lease for marine hydrokinetic research in the Outer Continental Shelf in the nation. The 2000s saw FAU host events that drew widespread attention, including the 2008 Republican presidential debate and a lecture by the Dalai Lama. The Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute came into the FAU fold and two state-funded centers of excellence were established. FAU is one of the most diverse educational institutions in the state probably in the nation. The best part about being in FAU is you're in the middle of South Florida. You're in the economic hub of the state. You're where the jobs are, you're where the taxpayers are. Why wouldn't you want to go to a school where you can go and find work um, right in your community? After 50 years, a new day is dawning for FAU, and it is dawning on our watch. It's an exciting time, and it's an exciting place to work. Florida Atlantic University will open the door for the students, and all we have to do is walk through that door. And I think that that's the great thing about FAU is you have the opportunity to build the tradition, to start a new one. This is the place and time for Florida Atlantic University. It's had a wonderful past and it has a, a brilliant future ahead for it.